Hey guys, so today I want to make a video to show you how to replace the screen on the iPhone 10. So the first thing you want to do is power off your device. So go ahead and do that next. So next in the bottom of the phone right here, there's two pentalobe screws right here. The screw size is 0.8, at least that is what it is in my set. So go ahead and remove those two screws. So next we will use a heat gun or a hair dryer or something and soften the adhesive along the edge of the screen right here. So this is the heat gun that I use but you can just use a hair dryer for this as well. And don't get it too hot, just soften the adhesive a little bit. Now you don't have to apply heat if you don't have any way to do so, but it does make it easier. You don't want to put too much, you want to be able to touch it, you don't want to have it too hot, just do a little bit at a time. So next, the best thing that I found is a really thin pry tool like this. It's made of metal, so you have to be careful, but it's very thin. And I like to slip in right down here in the bottom. If you put some heat in there, it opens up really easy. Then I use this thing like a guitar pick or something. Just like to slip in right beside it. All that you use that thin one for is to get it started. Then you can just slide along in here. You want to break that adhesive apart. So now you have to watch on this side right here, right above where the power button is. There's some cables in there and the screen will tip up like this. So when you're going up this side, you want to make sure you don't go in very far, but you will want to loosen it all the way. So just to double check, the main parts, you don't want to go in too far with your pick right here on this side or on this side as you're opening it up, but you do want to loosen the whole thing. Then you can tip the whole screen up like this at a 90 degrees. So next, I already removed these screws, but you want to remove these five screws right here in this cover right here. They're a tri-point size 0.8. That's the size in my set anyways, and that's what you need to do. Now make sure when you remove those screws to put them in the right order wherever you lay them down. I would recommend laying down with this cover. That way you know exactly how they go back together because they're different lengths. Next you just grab this cover and set it off with your screws. Alright guys, when we open this up, the very first connector that we want to disconnect is this bottom one right here. So go ahead and disconnect that. That's the connector for the battery. It's the third one up from the bottom. Then first we'll remove this connector right here. Remove that one there for the screen too. And we'll also want to remove this one for the screen. And this one here is stuck down with a little bit of adhesive right there, so make sure to pull that off very carefully. Then the screen will come off just like that. I'll include a link in the video description for any of the tools that I'm using today or any of the parts that I'm replacing. Anything that I think might be helpful to you, I'll include a link in the video description below the video, so check it out there. Also guys, if this video was helpful to you so far, I would appreciate if you'd give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That would be helpful to me. Now to remove this part right here, there's one screw right here, one here, and one here. I already removed them, but I wanted to show you. They are a tri-point size 0.8 with my screwdriver. And this one here has a little gold metal clip that you want to make sure you save with the screw. So I'm going to turn the screen this way. We can carefully turn the ear speaker back. Then we can slide in under this part. There's this gold microphone right here. It's just stuck down with strong adhesive. We can loosen that. Then you can slide over and pop this part loose and then this guy will lift right out there too. So there's the whole assembly that comes right out. So now I wanted to point a few things out with the new screen. Once you got your old screen out here, this is still your old screen, Check to look over, make sure you don't need to swap any of this over onto your new screen. These little plastic holders right here for the cameras, sometimes you have to swap them over onto your new screen. Sometimes your new screen comes with them. So make sure that everything that's on your old screen here is on your new screen. Otherwise you need to pop them out and transfer them. Also I want to do a word of caution here on the iPhone 10. The iPhone 10 has an LED screen. If you want to stay with OEM original, I would recommend replacing it with an LED screen. Some people are replacing them with LCD screens, so make sure when you're ordering a new screen to get an LED screen, not an LCD one, if you want OEM original quality. They are not very much price difference, they're a little bit more expensive, but it's well worth getting the LED screen in my opinion. I'll include a link in the video description below the video where you can find a screen. The main thing I would look for is that it for sure is OEM quality and look for good reviews. So now that you're all ready to go, I grab your ear speaker part here. Make sure to set this down in here carefully. I'm going to use this spudger so that I can do it without showing you big fingers in the way. So these two guys just sit right down in where they go. Your microphone sets down like that. You can just carefully set this part down in here. Make sure that everything sets down in there nicely. Then let's go ahead and put our three screws back in. Make sure on this one to turn the gold contact part towards that camera right there. 
All right, guys, the next thing to do is check for your waterproof adhesive here, the old stuff, and make sure to peel it all off. I use a tweezers like this. It's really fine and can get under there. If you don't have one, you can just use whatever you can to get it started. Sometimes it'll peel up. If you get it started, you can pull it and it'll just stretch really long. But make sure to clear all that off. All right, guys, so I definitely would recommend to replace the waterproof adhesive. It's not that hard to do. It's very inexpensive. It'll help retain your water resistance. It may not be quite as good as from the factory, but it'll still be a lot better than nothing. So usually it comes like this. You can peel one side off. And then the part up here with two holes goes towards the top over the face ID. And it usually sets nicely in place. So just go ahead and press this down everywhere in place. All right, then once you got it pressed down, you can usually grab it somewhere and get it started and peel this part off. Try not to peel it up with it. Sometimes it's a little tricky. And like I had mentioned, I will include a link in the video description below the video where you can get all this stuff, like the waterproof adhesive or any parts that I use during this repair. So you can check it out there. It's very inexpensive to do it, like I said, and so it's definitely worth doing. Now after you peel it off, just check it and make sure that none of it came off out of place. If it did, you can generally tweak it just a little bit, but I would recommend not messing with it more than you have to so it doesn't lose its stickiness. All right, so the next thing, now that you got your adhesive on here, try to get your screen over here close but so you don't get it stick into the adhesive at all. And let's get our connectors reconnected. So get that one in there. Now you got all your screen connectors connected. Let's go ahead and reconnect the battery right here. Lastly, now that we got the battery reconnected, without touching any of this stuff, let's go ahead and lay the screen down gently and start up the phone and make sure that your touch is going to work. Alright, so now that your phone's powered up, you can test out your touch. So you can see everything's working. Go ahead and shut on your phone again. Now that your phone is shut down, let's go ahead and tip this back up. Alright, so now that we've tested, make sure everything works. Now we can put our shield back on here. So go ahead and put those five screws back in there. Alright, so now that you got all your screws in the shield there, go ahead and carefully lay this down. You just line it up, push it in all the way around. So then you want to put your two pentalobe screws back in the bottom right there. Then if you took your SIM card out for any reason, go ahead and put that back in. Then lastly, start up your device. So as you can see, everything's working. Yeah guys, if you got this phone all together and you don't have any screws laying around anywhere, you didn't lose a bunch, then you did awesome. So congratulations. And as always, I love hearing from you guys. Be sure to drop me a comment down below the video. Let me know if you have any questions about this repair. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. That would be helpful. Also, come hang out with me on Instagram at SmartEasyDIY. I'm usually pretty active on there, so you can follow me on there to see what's going on. And yeah, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.